Hello and welcome to Southbridge. Today I'm going to show you how to read an Excel file into the browser. So I have an Excel file here. So it is employees data Excel file. So it is basically a database of employees. So it has it has columns name, position, office age start date and their salary so let's start here in my html file i'm going to reference our javascript library so let me put the src attribute so http so i'm going to use the read excel file library read excel file so let me just type this bundle read excel file that mean the js okay so now we have our read excel file library so now i'm going to use the input element to select our excel file so i'm going to put this id is equal to input so now I'm going to use an HTML table to display our data from the Excel file so I'm going to have this ID uh, TBL data okay so let us view it first in our browser so as you can see there is our input element so we have to select our employees data excel so as you can see it displays employees data that x lsx so it is now referencing to our excel file so to read the contents of that excel file so we have to use our library so first I'm going to reference our input element so I'm going to put it in var input variable so document that get element by ID so let us put the ID of our our input element so uh, input and now I'm going to put an event in the input variable so input that add event listener so I'm going to use the change event so that it will display the data after we select the Excel file so I'm going to have this function so this function will execute when we select an excel file so now i'm going to use the read xlsx file object so the read xlsx file so inside this object i'm going to put the files we selected so input files so so files is an array because we can select multiple files in our input HTML element that's why we have to put zero so that we have to read the first or the file we have selected so now I'm going to add this then method 
so I'm going to put a function here function so this then keyword is part of a promise in JavaScript so it is somewhat a replacement or another way to use callbacks so just think this function that it is a callback function so inside this function uh, we will read the data so first I'm going to just display the data from our Excel file oh I forgot the parameter in our function so I will use the data as our parameter so now let us check this in our browser so choose file select our excel file and then let us see our console oops there is an error our object is not defined so it is not defined so I guess there is an error in our reference okay so let me just replace it okay let's try okay so that's good so as you can see here is our data from the excel file so it has several objects or rows uh, or whatever you call it so it has 11 rows so the first row is our headers so in order to display this data in our table we will first separate these headers to the actual rows so to do this let's get back to our code and we have to loop into our data so data that map so map is another way of looping through the objects and I'm going to put a function here so this arrow here is it means it is a function so this function will have two parameters row and index so now in order to identify which is the headers and which is the actual rows we have to have an if statement so if if i is equal to zero so it means it is the first first data in our object so let us first declare this i variable var i is equal to zero so so in this if statement we will populate our table with our headers so let us reference our html table so document that get element by id and it is tbl uh, data tbl data so now I'm going to use the generate table head so generate table head function so we will we will supply these parameters table and row 
so this row is from here from our loop so every row so here since it is zero so the first loop will be our table head so the next if else or the next if statement is if i is greater than zero so let table get element tbl data so let us use our generate table rows function generate table rows function so again let us let us supply our table and the row so this functions here generate table head and generate table rows function is a custom function to generate the data in the html table i have used this function in my previous videos in uh, i guess reading the csv file into the browser using the papa parse library so i will just paste it here now so let's let us use these functions so here it is so here are the functions so this function will generate our header and this function will generate our rows so let us increment our i variable so i plus plus so let us try this into our browser so refresh choose file employees data so now as you can see here is our data from the excel file so so let us check if it is correct so the name iri sato up to cedric kelly and the position accountant and senior javascript developer edinburgh 22 2012 march 29 and the salary 433060 so our library didn't read the dollar symbol oh so it's because our our employees data excel uh, didn't manually put the dollar sign or the dollar symbol so that's how you can read an excel file from the browser thank you